Thank you. So yeah, I'm very excited to share this project we did. Uh, it's called Masterclass. Uh, this is a company that started in San Francisco. Uh, it's a founder called David Rogier, and his belief is that everybody should have access to the world's best knowledge. So they have online classes where you learn uh, about everything in, uh, in the industry by the top best ones. So to give you a better sense of what it is, I think it's easier to me to show a trailer. So this is Gordon Ramsay, the top Michelin star chef, teaching you how to cook. Beautiful. So beautiful. It's easy to cook on TV. There's talented producers, there's fucking editors, and there's all sorts of things that make you look good. You know, before any TV came anywhere near my career, I'd mastered my craft. You'll see a side to me across this class that I don't think has ever been shown before. Knife skills, the basics are so important. Three fingers down, and this beautiful knuckle is the guiding light across that knife. Cooking salmon. So the secret is to score the skin. That stops the fish from buckling up. You can't pick up the world's best cookbook and understand that you need to do it. Mm, delicious. Everything I've learned, understood, stolen, perfected, is laid bare across this masterclass. For the first time ever, you would learn how to cook those ingredients from start to finish. I'm Gordon Ramsay, and this is my masterclass. We didn't make that. Yeah, but the first one applause, it's very beautiful. Uh, so this is what we had to work with. Uh, beautiful cinematic uh, footage of classes they produce over like six, uh, six months to 12 months, just for one. Uh, and it's not only about cooking, it's about filmmaking, it's about sports. You can learn how to DJ with Armin Van Buren, it's place basketball, like Steph Curry, uh, and so much more, even space exploration. So they try to widen the horizon even more, and hopefully they will bring celebrities across the globe. So far they are in the US, but I think we have so much more to get from them. Uh, so Masterclass approached us with uh, the issue that they are only present in the web space as before the approach us. So they, they want to help to reimagine their services and go way beyond that and to build and create their first ever iOS and Android apps. So we started by, as Peter said before, we started by doing a process of identifying what to do in, in our process to get there. So we started off by making sure that from day one, we truly became an extension of their team. So we worked closely. This is us, I think, day four, doing some prototyping already and showing them our like initial thinking just from having the brief. Uh, and then essentially we identify in key objectives. So we have four of them here. First one is to create daily engagements. We don't want people to come here and then never come back again. We want them to come back every day, learn something new. It's not about we getting them to the experience. We want them to really learn as like we want them to be better. Uh, that second one is connected to that, and that is they have one class purchase or all access. So we want them, of course, to get to the all access. It will benefit us and them as well. So the third one is to showcase their truly beautiful content. Uh, and the fourth one is to encourage their growth. That's our end goal, for them to grow even more after having access to this. Um, so then we're defining experiences and, and principle for this. Uh, so the first one is to do not create Netflix. And I, I when I say that, it's not negative. It's more like Netflix works really good at what they're doing, but we believe that we truly have this footage to elevate the experience even more. So we, at Fantasy, again, we don't believe in having those UI kits and use it again. So like having a carousel with different content pieces, you scroll through them, you choose one, you go back, you choose another one. It's very tedious and you go back and forth and you cannot lose the, it's a lot of friction. So we believe that you can do it in a somewhat efficient way. Uh, the second one is to put content first. And that is, as I said before, truly don't put anything in the way of this beautiful content. You don't need to. Gordon Ramsay will teach you how to cook. You don't need to write much more than that. Uh, and the third one is to use our all senses in this experience. So we want to use all the hardware capabilities, haptics, vibrations, and uh, even like physics in the experience. I'm going to come to that later. Uh, and not only the visual, we want them to really feel this. So before I go into the details, uh, this is what we created.
So let's get into the details. Uh, I'm going to walk through the master wall, as we call it internally, but the clients also eventually call it that. Uh, class detail page, uh, onboarding, and discover. So the first one is the main area when you get to in this app. So instead of having this default view of a list view with people and the names and like essentially more text than images, we put all the faces up front, a truly visual exploration for you. So we are visual people and we attract two people, but it's not, not only about finding the people you know, it's about moving around and knowing. You, we intentionally don't put names in here, both of course of the space, but then also we want you to explore. This is your explorative view. Otherwise you would just pick the ones you know and we want you to explore your horizon further than that. Next one, at any point in this grid, you put one of them and you get up to a one-up one view. In this view, we directly play a trailer from this class. So you don't need to buy anything. You don't need to do any commitment to know more about this class. And at that point, you can swipe in any direction just to go to another one. Uh, and then once you click into that, you will go to the detail page. And this is where we seamlessly, from the grid view, one of you to the detail page, have the same video in the background immersively. And then even more in the bottom. We just have three lines of text, and then the rest is images and videos telling you the rest of it. And then I agree that this looks quite simple. It's a grid of people, and boom, that's it. But in the background, there's a lot of details that goes into this. So even like how you build this up individually made a huge difference. Also to introduce physical reactions. As you saw before, when you touch these cars, they skew down as you move them, and everything is like working as an analogy I have as a fishing net. So everything is reacting to your emotions uh, and reactions. Uh, and then even playing with weight and gravity. So we believe that this content is truly valuable. It's heavy, it's a lot of production behind it, there's a lot of knowledge they share to you, and just by adding this as the right one, more heavier cars, when you move them, it really feels like something else. And then, going back to not having UI uh, on the necessary places, it's about hinting uh, instead of writing. So we have subtle animations in the end. If a user would get stuck in uh, this new paradigm, we hint where to go if they need that. And then this is the onboarding. So I'm going to play this with sound, and then I'm going to walk through uh, what's behind it. I'm Annie Leibovitz. I'm Stephen Curry. And this is my master class. And this is my master class. And this is my master class. So. This is exactly what you will see when you go into the app store, you download the app, open it for the first time. You have a sit back experience where the app onboards you in the experience and what you get out of it. So if you remember the trailer, Gordon Ramsay said, my name is Gordon Ramsay, and then this is my master class. So we have three people saying their names, and then they say master class. So you know exactly it's going to be a lot of people. Uh, it's not only one of three people, you see a grid in the background as well. So we're using the content itself to onboard you instead of you doing all the work. So we skipped all the traditional carousels and paginations and sign up. We skipped sign up like the very first thing we did. And then ladder back to people coming back. So then you have to provide more value every day. So if you have a class that's eight hours long, it's a lot of commitment to, okay, I'm gonna learn cooking now and I have to commit myself to learn all this. But instead we created this system with short form content instead. So we take these highlights from each class and create it every day for you to learn something else, on the train, on the bus, on the flight, whatever, so you can eat, learn every day instead of commit to these long uh, form classes. Uh, and overall impact has been really, really fantastic. So ever since launch in April, we got the app of the day in the US and the UK. Uh, and even on the App Store, we ultimately got a 4.8 stars rating, and it's all fantastic and all, but Essentially, in the bottom of our hearts, when we created this, and when I think back on it, it's truly about impacting their lives. So as you read these reviews here, it's about they really impact their profession. They, they can go on this acting class, and they know how to perform comedy. And it's truly something else. It's not just a number, and essentially, this is what we care about at the end of the day. And we have three key takeaways. The first one is the great user experience is truly a team effort. So without this truly close relationship we have with our partner, this would be very hard to pull off. It was a lot of new thinking, a lot, we have a grid instead of a list, and you know, we had a switch up in the left corner, but we led with this crazy new navigation system that had never been before. So we had to really work closely, and that was very key. 
Uh, the second one is to constantly create prototypes and concept validations. As Peter said before, it's truly giving something else to the table, to for the partner to really see what you're talking about and, and validate their concerns and, and for us to validate ourselves. Uh, and three is to get involved, of course, this should be a must, so like to involve yourself with the production of the actual classes. How long does it take? What, what kind of access do you have to the courses? Ultimately, we made them to actually build a little new department for this creative feed, uh, but they were all into it. They saw the value, and we did our best to, to communicate it. Uh, and then, yeah, ultimately, we created this beautiful, exciting system that scale up to tablets uh, and beyond. Um, hope you liked it. Thank you.